Hundreds of people marched from Aurora to Denver today, calling for policy changes to end racism and police brutality, all on the anniversary of the death of Elijah McClain. Good evening, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. People marched, biked, and drove down Colfax today, creating a procession stretching from the MLK Library in Aurora to Denver's MLK statue in City Park. Our Jacqueline Quinn was out with those demonstrators today and joins us now live. And Jacqueline, this march was just the latest of countless demonstrations. Yes, Kathy, it really has been a summer of protests. And some of the people I talked with today, they understand that people are tired of these protests, but they say, imagine how they feel. They keep on seeing these videos of police encounters of people who look kind of like them somehow end up getting shot. And they just can't believe that this continues to happen. And that is why they're speaking out. My skin color does not equate to murdering me. It is not the first march, and it won't be the last march to call for the end of racism and police brutality. I mean, people are still getting murdered, just murdered on camera. The family of Devon Bailey was one of several families who shared how their loved ones died at the hands of police. And it's to the point to where they don't care. They don't care if someone's videotaping. Many of those marching were also calling for justice for Elijah McClain, who died one year ago after an encounter with Aurora police. And as a black person, I grew up in Aurora. Um, I just want to show my support because I am young. People like Bariona Marze were marching for justice and police reform. I'm starting to raise children, and I don't want them to go through these things. Things like the recent shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin, that has sparked protests across the country. The guy that got shot seven times in the back. This stuff keeps happening. Marze says she will use her voice and march for as long as she needs to, but people need to push for change. Um, but I just hope that this spreads. I hope that these people, you know, show up and vote um, at their jobs. They speak up for the people of color. Um, they put their lives on the line. Now, earlier we did hear calls for a peaceful march as well as continued marches like this for meaningful change. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Thank you, Jacqueline.